In late 2019, a social media challenge took the internet by storm. Dubbed the Decade Challenge, the objective was to post a picture of yourself from 2009 and a corresponding picture from 2019 to show the difference that a decade can make. Different entities and individuals began to flood social media with pictures and hashtag them Decade Challenge. Apple decided it would hop on Al Gore's internet to show these Android users just who really be running the cell phone game. Fans got to show their loyalty to their favorite artists as they charted their meteoric rise to celebrity. On screen, you'll see the one and only Jermaine Cole, better known as J. Cole, first of his name. Long may he reign, the greatest rapper of all time. Don't at me, because I'm right on this one. And those who had found the fountain of youth were able to show that 10 years really doesn't make much of a difference for them. And so inspired by these entries, I decided that I would also make a submission into the Decade Challenge. And this was my grand submission. He's a beauty, isn't he? True or false, this man would be your 2009 sexiest man alive. The answer that she is giving is false. You're a hater. But don't worry, you're not by yourself because my entire Instagram are haters too because my followers proceeded to make me the butt of jokes for 48 hours straight. <laughs> my favorite one though was when one of my friends said, my guy, you look like you're about to transform into your final form of Sid from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> and then one of my friends who I believe was trying to give me a compliment said, my guy, it doesn't matter because you really hit a glow up, didn't you? Now this is objectively false, but it's also the most backhanded compliment I have ever gotten in my entire life. Because I'm not ugly here. Okay, everybody, keep your answers, especially you. But it got me thinking about the glow up and its prevalence of the idea in the zeitgeist. And I decided that I had to understand it. And so I did what any self-respecting researcher would do. And I got my Twitter fingers ready and I started to scroll. And here's what I found. For many of us, the achieving of our glow up is our biggest dream. And we see its importance in that it enables us to be noticed and known by others. Two of our most valued yet seemingly non-renewable resources we have in our society today. And as an educator, I continually see my students' incessant desire to accumulate more and more affirmations, accolades, and achievements hoping to manufacture for themselves a glow up. Because the way that we define it, the glow up is one's external presentation that leads one to be seen, savored, and sought after. And maybe the most important question that we ask ourselves is what do I do with my glow up once I get it? And the answer that we will give is I gotta shine on them, I gotta flex on them because inherently the glow up is only given to the lucky amongst us. And if the glow of God's gave me my glow up, but didn't give you yours, then what's wrong with you? But my research would also suggest that even as we ascribe to this understanding of the glow up, we do feel a dissonance. And author Elaine Welteroth states this as she says that young people are looking for something real, craving authenticity. But if we take a critical glance at our understanding of the globe, we realize that it don't quite pass the vibe check. Because if we look at mine, it would seem that I was once 15, and then some magic happened in the middle, and then I materialized as this beautiful human who you see before you today. But then we're just doing what Maya Angelou would describe as delighting in the beauty of the butterfly, but not understanding or seeing the work that it took for it to achieve that beauty. And this has led me to believe that we have sequestered the glow up to a box too shallow to house its full depth. And worse yet, if we don't expand our view, we're at risk of wasting our glow ups, or at least the effort that we put into them. And so I'd like to refine and refocus our understanding because I see it a little bit differently now. You see, the glow up is not our ticket to being noticed and known by others, but instead our ticket to notice and know ourselves. It's a product of a chain reaction that happens on the inside first, a chain reaction that is brought about and this kinetic energy is drawn from 
the asking and answering of three simple yet deceivingly complex questions. Who am I? What is my purpose? And how do I impact those who are around me? Who am I? What is my purpose? And how do I impact those who are around me? No, really, who am I? And what is my purpose? And how do I impact those who are around me? And the asking and answering of one question will lead to the asking and answering of another, which will lead to the asking and answering of another question, a metamorphic practice, the result of which is the growing up into yourself. And that's the glow up, the ever evolving process of finding your voice, reaching your potential, and living in your purpose. Now, it's not lost on me that even as we're trying on this new philosophy that some things are going to stay the same. For many of us, the achieving of our glow-ups will be our biggest dream. And we'll continue to ask ourselves the most important question of what do I do with my glow-up once I get it? And as I've been pondering this myself, I've stumbled upon two our authors who I believe give us the keys. Poet Cleo Wade asks us, if all of your dreams came true, would they change just you? Or would they change the world? And admonishes us to dream bigger, loved ones. Bigger and further and wider and deeper. And what could this big and far and wide and deep dream entail? Well, Toni Morrison says, remember that it is your job, if you are free, to free somebody else. If you have some power, your job is to empower somebody else. And so taken together and extrapolated into our conversation, the dream is that your glow up begins to ignite the glow up in somebody else. Now by way of demonstration, I want everybody to take out your cell phones. What you're gonna need, the feature you will need is the flashlight, but don't turn it on quite yet. I'll guide you in. And I was talking to a young lady before the event. Her name is Azzy Francis. Azzy, are you in the house? Thank you so much for being here. You're gonna ignite the glow up in everybody in this room. And here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna count you down, three, two, one, and then you're gonna turn on your flashlight. Your job will be to hold your light. For everybody else, you are enabled to turn on your flashlight only after seeing somebody else's flashlight on. So once you see somebody's flashlight on, whether it is Azzy's or anybody else in the house, then you can turn your flashlight on. Then I would suggest that you shine yours towards somebody who doesn't have theirs on quite yet. Now I'm feeling the vibe, I like the crew we have in the room, and if we are ready, Azzy, three, two, one. Let's light this place up. really cool for me to be able to see the chain reaction happen on stage and for you all to model how it is that you pass your glow up on. You're modeling the asking and answering of the questions, the sharing your answers with others, and the sharing of the process that you used. Everybody can go ahead and put your lights down. I believe that it is this process, sharing your answers, answering for yourself and sharing the process that you used to get those answers. I believe that's what Greta Thunberg has done to shift and shape the conversation around climate change. I believe this is what Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and Patrice Coolers used to give the diaspora a rallying cry. And I believe that this is what you can do to make the most of your glow up. And so I'll leave you with this. In 10 years, there will be another decade challenge. We will rifle through our photo streams, hoping to find a picture from 2020 and a corresponding picture from 2030 to show the difference that a decade can make. And my challenge to you is to live in such a way now that when you look at those pictures, you'll be able to say, yeah, I hit my glow up. But also, my glow up started the chain reaction that ignited the glow up in somebody else. Don't waste yours. Thank you.